Hello, today's video will cover how to set up React.js with Typeform. So, to do so, we will navigate to the Typeform official website as follow. Uh, after you do your login and uh, to the Typeform, uh, like I will do it again, I will do the Typeform login. You, you can do login with your uh, Google or just when you are in, I'm already logged in. It's simple to do that. So I'm going to the home page of the type form. Load in. When the load is done, this is the first page that you see. So you will create a new type form. We will do like a start from scratch. Okay. We give it a name. I will name it Code Blend. Uh, what are you creating? I'm creating a uh, like a registration form. Code Blend form. Here we go. So in this section, you can add any type of question you want. So we'll start, for example with the uh, requesting the the like the we'll start with a short text as follow I will delete the first one we will do it from scratch please provide your name a description okay here is how the, the, the question will appear in the in the form. So we'll do just add some extra uh, extra configuration. We will set up this to be required. We'll change for example the design. Okay, it's premium like the team. We will choose it's not important, it's just some configuration that you have that you can handle as you want we will add again the like uh, the email please again okay, please provide email and the last one we, we can ask the user about there is a lot of bunch of functionality you can add but like uh, the file upload the payment and a lot we will ask for example for the the phone number and we will use please provide phone number uh, phone number we can uh, make it again required here we can add required as so here we go so our form is ready we can uh, test it we can have a preview on our form here is how our form will look like in any yeah, when we put it in our website. Hisham. Okay. Email. Email. Dot, email. Dot com. Here we go. I will not provide that. So okay, just like uh, an example, we will choose Morocco. And like this one okay here we go submit the f also uh, when we submit that uh, the information will be stored in the result section if we go to the result section here where we will find all, all the answers and that users has uh, done because now we have just done a uh, uh, a fake uh, preview so we'll got our answers and all the information here and the responses what we will do now we'll move to the next step is integrating it with react application so basically when we want to publish it they will give us a, a, a direct link but this link uh, will uh, 
just a link that you can add but no way we, we want to embed it here is the link to your uh, type form but for no we want to embed it to our website like we want to put it in a, a page of our website instead of uh, clicking the link and go to another uh, link so we will uh, we'll choose a standard one so uh, type form will provide a uh, a bunch of code that we can use like we can configure that again but we will leave it as it so we will click start start embedding and we will copy this code this code basically is used in a HTML CSS based web application but for our case we are using react so what we will do is we will ask ChatGPT to convert this uh, code to a JSX format here we go we passed the code and we go adapt this code to a jsx file and we pass the code here we go well i guess ChatGPT will provide us with a new component here we go we will copy the whole component okay we will go to our react app it's basically a uh, created a simple react application we will go and create a new component. We'll name it type it type form embed JSX. We will pass the code that G the ChatGPT provide here. We'll go to the app and call our and call our form type it type form embed. Here we go. And we run our project again. If we navigate to our base code, we will find that the form was being submitted and we will do a test, 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 okay, okay, we will do Morocco again, fake number, submit. If we go now to type form, we we should we we have to find this answer in the, the results. So we wait. Okay, we go to my workplace. Uh, I navigate to I have to choose the code blend form. Then I will navigate to the results to see the results. Responses. And here you go. Here is the, the information. And congratulations. Please do, do not forget to subscribe and leave your thoughts on this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.